Welcome to your daily double reading. Today we are going to be getting information and insight for you based on your upcoming opportunities. And to do that, we're using the Spirit Animal Oracle Deck Mini, along with the Tarot of Mystical Moments Mini to get you two card combos to choose from for your messages. So this is a short term poll. I like to say that your upcoming opportunities. So we're looking at today and next few days over the weekend, whenever you're seeing this today or the next few days. And we're going to be using the animal deck. I love this. This is the Colette Baron Reed Spirit Animal Mini. So you can open up your channel. Ooh, okay. Um, and see if you're getting pulled, remember this is always a this or that question for your intuition. Is it this combo? or that combo, um, this or that, A or B, which is a really good practice to just put in place, just in general in your life, giving your intuition two options to choose from so that you can see more clearly which way you are being guided, which side you're being guided to. I mean, I definitely know uh, people who have the clairsentience energy really um, strongly, and they will have a physical response in their body when faced with a this or that question or this or that option. So they'll like actually lean to one side or the other, which is really cool. So if that's happening to you, it's not weird. <laughs> okay, card combo number one, card combo number two. Um, once you've made your selection, then you can head down to the description box and click on the timestamp next to the card combo that's resonating most with you. And uh, I will see you in your daily double reading. Hello, group one, and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo here uh, for messages about your upcoming opportunities. And again, short term, so we're looking at today, what do you wanna be open to? And over the course of the weekend or the next couple of days, depending on when you're watching this, so let's check out your animal card here. Oh boy, I love this. <laughs> I love this and I love that. Um, the dolphin spirit. Card number 20, this and that are true. This is like a polarity energy. This is a balanced energy. When you, when you read that, you're like, okay, both can be true at the same time. Also, I'll just say the opportunity for uh, exploration in communication is going to be happening for you if you've chosen this group with this card. It just feels like because the two is there and then also the dolphin and the connection to communication in general, um, you may be needing to communicate with your two, so your two selves. So maybe your divine self is communicating with your physical self, your physical self is communicating with your divine self and, you know, working together in a way where you're like, okay, well, my mind says this is true. And then my intuition says this is true. And neither one of them have to be separate from each other. Like both of them can be true at the same time. It also may be that you're having a conversation or communication with another party, an external person, some sort of relationship that you are in. And you know, you guys are discussing your perspective on something or your feelings about something or your opinions about something and both can be true at the same time. So I'm really picking up the opportunity for balanced communication and understanding that it's okay for someone else to have a different opinion than you. It's okay for someone else to have a different feeling than you. It's okay for um, both your mind and your heart or your intuition to have two different takes on something and uh, they can work together or they can both be residing kind of in the same connection to you at the same time and that's okay. <laughs> also, just a side note, dolphins are definitely connected to joy, happiness, play, and fun. So you may find that you're meant to keep it lit a little bit light as this is uh, unfolding, let's say, or as you're uh, observing it, right? Like maybe you're talking to someone and they're offering up um, a new way to think about something. And it's, it's just an open-minded kind of energy that I would say you'd want to keep the opportunity to not let certain communications or certain 
conversations spoil, they're saying spoil the joy or spoil the fun. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, King of Pentacles and look at that on the top of the antlers. So the first thing I'm feeling is that this may inform your experience. With a King of Pentacles, um, and, and this is the male expression, these, these kings in this deck, there's kings and the emperor are all, uh, there's double cards, so female and masculine energy. Uh, so you may be literally talking to someone who is a King of Pentacles in your life, you know, who has the traits of um, like a very grounded, business-oriented person. You may be chatting with someone who's too grounded, right? So their opinion of the world is coming from a certain state where you are more light or you're more uh, flowing or maybe you're more open-minded or you're more connected spiritually and they're like no 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 every like I need show me proof <laughs> you know like give me the proof of something in the physical plane in the 3d world and that's the only way that can be true it's like that could be true but also this could be true too and again making it light so that you're not they keep saying spoiling the fun so maybe you find yourself at in an experience over the weekend where you're meant to take into consideration someone else's perspective but you it's almost a grain of salt. You don't let it affect um, the joyful energy that you have the ability to be a part of. Uh, okay. The other piece of this is like to consider the King of Pentacles in yourself. So if it's you with you and you're communicating with yourself or communicating with your spirit team, it's like, how can I be at the top of my game? Because the King of Pentacles is the master of the suit. So he is really great. Almost two things at once being true. He's like really great at hard work and also really great at enjoying the hard work, like enjoying the fruits of his labor. So both can be true. He's not like only enjoying and being this person who has is entitled and is um, overdoing it and et cetera, et cetera, like lazy or whatever, not willing to work. But he's also, when he's at work, he is perhaps very focused, makes amazing logical decisions, is very good with his um, head and his boots is what they said. So like uh, how he, he moves forward is very logical, grounded, and comes from wisdom and experience here on the physical plane. Both are true. He can relax well and he can work well at the same time. So if that's you or you're trying to like figure out the right balance, there is going to be time for play and there is going to be time for work and it's okay. Both are true. Both are available. Wow. Interesting opportunity. In in and of itself, it's balance, right? It's a communicative balance that's helping you to recognize both are true and you don't have to spoil the fun just because you had to work this morning or just because there's work that needs to be done. You may be doing work and making it fun at the same time. Both can be true. I'm working and having fun. It's really exciting. I'd love to hear how that shows up for you today and over the weekend. I hope that this serves you group number one as you move through the next couple of days, few days. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss my future readings, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and give this video a like if something is resonating with you or feel free to leave me a comment down below if you feel called to and I'll see you in the next Daily Double. Hello group two and welcome to your Daily Double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the second card combo here for your message about your upcoming opportunities. And we're using the animal deck, which is exciting. I love this deck. Let's see what the animal has to tell you today, animal spirit. Oh, the nightingale spirit and love is all around. <sighs> Playing the, the song of love, the book of love. Card number 41. This is stability, feeling it for yourself, and then um, change. Hmm. It feels like it's a recognition, so you being able to have the opportunity to recognize that you are loved or that uh, love is available for you with a nightingale. I just, um, it feels like you're going to hear it, okay? From either you could be hearing it from spirit you could be hearing it or saying it to yourself you also could you may be you know speaking to somebody who expresses it to you so expresses that they love you ooh for they just said for some of you it'll be like um not surprising but 
it feels like the first time someone says someone like I love you to, to someone else. It feels like that. So for maybe that's a message for a particular person who's listening to this. Um, or says it in a certain way. Somebody expressing their love for you. It, yeah, it feels like the. It, I have to say, I'm going to be honest. It feels like the first time someone tells you that they love you. So if that's you, I, I mean, take it all in and enjoy that energy. Um, but for the most part, the, the predominant energy, I'm just going to move away from that for a second because that is a great feeling, right? And it's usually like surprising and baffling in this feeling of like, oh my goodness, uh, where your heart completely swells. So there may be a change that's happening where you really feel love from someone else. Uh, but in general, I feel like what this is saying is you are going to have the opportunity to hear and see love, to observe it in your actual experience. Let's see what we have here. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right, Six of Cups, which is a heart-centered card. Cups is emotion, so. Mm. Okay, well, with the, six of, with the Six of Cups, I will say that, you know, I have to say, basically, that it's about a nostalgia energy or um, looking back. So, for some of you, this could be somebody that you loved coming back around or someone coming back from your past, coming into your present to express their love for you or how much they admire you or something like that, okay? It could be someone from the past coming in. I have to say that with this combo, with that card especially. Um, but a Six of Cups is also just a reflection card where you can look back and honor and observe the things that brought love into your heart or made you feel loved and choose to uh, pay attention to them in your present experience. So it's like, um, again, a reflection, a nostalgia energy where you're reflecting on the past in order to take from it, in this case, what makes you feel loved, what fills your cup, right? What fills your heart with love um, to inform your present, yes, and also your future. This is what I loved about that experience. This is what I loved about that relationship. This is what I loved about that job. Uh, this is what I loved about that vacation, you know, whatever it is. Um, and, and, and on that, you know, it's like someone may be doing that as well and then actually expressing it to you or maybe they're just feeling it. <laughs> it feels like a lot of looking back in love and then having that present as well. So yes, I think a lot of you are going to hear that word. So share the love, spread the love around. If you're in this group, you'll have the opportunity to do that perhaps in multiple um, experiences or situations. <laughs> Um, and if it's someone that you haven't talked to for a while or haven't heard from for a while and they reach out or you feel like reaching out to them and just saying like, hey, I just thought of you and I wanted to reach out and tell you, you know, I love you, then don't hesitate to do that. Not with this combo. That's the opportunity that you're being given over the weekend or for the next couple of days. And if you are looking to your past and maybe you're looking back at something maybe you could have done better or a mistake or a failure, something that didn't go as well as you planned, or if you're dealing with some kind of pain or hurt or loss from the past, remember this energy because this is asking you very specifically to look back in love. Look back through the eyes of love um, because it will fill your heart in this moment. So I hope that this serves you uh, for today, group number two, especially if you have like milestone energy coming up around uh, the weekend or coming up or it's been happening where there's a milestone like someone's birthday, someone's anniversary, etc. Um, if it's bringing it up for you, don't let yourself be brought down by it, but listen for the love that happens. For some of you, I just have to say this now because it's coming into, if some of you have lost loved ones, you may feel them uh, this weekend. You may have the opportunity to feel the love that they express to you or that heart connection that you have to them. So take that in. Take that in. Let it fill your, your heart up. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss my future readings, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And if something resonates for you uh, with this reading, make sure that you hit that uh, like button for me. And if you feel called to, leave me a comment down below and I will see you in the next Daily Double.